three extra days to get ready for the next game if indeed he can play. Yeah, and, and for now it's focusing in on, on what they can do tonight to try to come back from this 11-point deficit. Really that last drive at the end of the half, uh, great for the Ravens, able to capitalize on a couple pass interference calls, but uh, di very difficult under the circumstances. Now Jake Browning in a little bit more obvious uh, situation with the play calling. They're going to probably stick to their guns. They've been running the football. They're going to try to probably maintain a balanced approach. If possible. Start from the 25-yard line. On the ground, little spin move there. Mixon, this time he gets only two to the 27-yard line. Roquan Smith, number zero, making the stop. It'll be second down and eight. And I think the, the mindset for Roquan Smith and Patrick Queen, the linebackers, changes significantly. The threat of Joe Burrow, not just throwing, but creating. And yet there's just so many things that he can do. And they're going to be learning about Jake Browning as they play, what his strengths are. But in the, main, in the meantime, they'll be attacking the line of scrimmage, trying to stop that run game. Nixon. What a good run. Out to the 36 yard line he goes mixing tonight the workhorse 11 carries 58 yards caught four for 29 more and a great double team on that right side you see Alex Kappa and Ted Karras able to secure the double team and again we just talked about those linebackers getting downhill those linemen are climbing and, and doing a good job of getting up to a pulse in the left guard in the center that time Ted Karras good blocks. Go four wide here. Mixon again. Mixon takes it out to the 40 yard line. He is a workhorse. You know, coming into the night with Samaji Piran moving on and no longer a part of this team, he is he's carried 91% of the run plays for Zach Taylor in this offense. In preseason, remember Burrow was mending the the problem that he had with the camp. So Browning did get the play through 45 passes had one touchdown pass. He was vying with Trevor Simeon for the second spot. So he does have some experience with with this group as he backpedals fires and that's caught on the other side of the 50 yard line hauled in there by Trent Irwin for a first down. Yeah, he's in rhythm here. I mean, you can tell the preparation that, that he's put in. Watch Irwin on this route work across. It really sells it to Queen six, like he's going to work across to the field, and he comes back. The timing is excellent. Good job by Jake Browning in rhythm, a couple hitches, and a good ball to the technician that time, Trent Irwin. At the 47, so Browning three for his first five. Running back is Travion Williams. Play action, tight little roll, look out, escapes the sack, gets a block, takes off, slides to a stop at the 40 yard line. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm thinking right now? This guy has very little experience, even though he's been around the NFL for, you know, Minnesota practice squad. Yeah. I'm thinking about Joshua Dobbs. I, why, heck yeah, why not? I tell you what, very cerebral in the very same way that Dobbs is, and he plays like he's just a guy that's that's poised. You know, he played a lot of football in college. I've seen him do that a lot because I called a lot of the game, his games when he was at Washington. He'll very he'll surprise you with his athleticism to be able to get away from trouble and then just get down, not not wow you, but enough to be able to stay positive and, and keep the uh, the sticks in a good place. Second and five. Going deep, one on one, and it's incomplete. A lot of contact, but no full world. These guys come out of nowhere. Ravens on top. How about that brain trust there? You get Browning there, you get coaching staff helping out, Joe Burrow helping out. Pretty impressive, though. Heck of a drive. Yeah. Resulting in three points. Yeah, those are the Bengals who have the fewest penalties in the league, averaging 4.6 and already eight penalties in that first half for 73 yards. So the Ravens now from the 25 yard line. Give it to Edwards. Nice move. Touch it back. And again at 25. Tackled by Battle. Great move. Slipping. 
to his right, and off he goes. This is why you just never know on, on the outside stretch play. Watch this block on the backside by Ricard, 300-pound fullback, and just a vision. You know, you look at Edwards, you think he's power. You know, you lose J.K. Dobbins, who's a great back again to the Achilles. And Edwards brings power, but as you see there, he brings vision and quickness to be able to cut that all the way back to the right. From the 49, five carries, 33 yards for him. Deep drop. Jackson stepping up, throws wide open. And that's on the first down and again to 14 to Charlie Kolar. To Kaylee, what you got, Kaylee? Guys, the Bengals have now officially declared Joe Burrow out for the game and a hit to the defense as well. Cam Taylor Britt, the cornerback who leads the team in interceptions, he's been ruled out with a quad injury on the left side. We saw him limping off the field late in the first half, and now he doesn't look mobile on the sidelines. Thank you, Kaylee. Gain a six here. The second down. You know, the Bengals, we mentioned the, the mini vibe when you play a Thursday game, you don't play till the following Sunday, the week from. The next game is at home against Pittsburgh. Yeah, and, and you want to see if you're Zach Taylor how your team responds. I mean, it, you can imagine you, know, you lose your guy. That, that's a that's a punch to the gut. And it's one thing to have Burrow limping around those first three or four weeks, but he was out there. Now he's gone. Yep. And you see how you respond because that can impact not just the offense but even the defense. Second and three. Edwards again, and he gets the first down. You know, when the season started with you had Gus, you had J.K. Dobbins. You mentioned Dobbins, Achilles opening day. But by the way, J.K. Dobbins working very religiously in terms of his rehab, doing very well. You, you're checking up on all the guys I, out there, right? I, see him every week. I go to rehab. I see the entire injured reserve list of the NFL. But J.K. J.K. doing very, very well. Yeah. He needs to catch a break. He's had. The ACL in 21 and yeah. now dealing with this this year. Two years in a row. From the 25 yard line. Flips it to the outside. That's caught. And about a nine yard gain that time to Keaton Mitchell, that speedy rookie, free agent out of East Carolina, whose dad played for this team um, two decades ago. Just brings a different element to, to the offense. You know, you get caught up in Zay Flowers and when Andrews, of course, is healthy and Gus Edwards running the ball. But boy, Mitchell, he's 5'8, 191 pounds, as we've seen. I mean, he, coming into the night, four touches over 20 yards and only 15 on the year. So an explosive, dynamic playmaker back in the back. 39 yard touchdown run last Sunday. This time Jackson keeps it, wiggles. Takes it to the 13 yard line. First down. Well, they, they wanted to take the ball out of the hands of Lamar Jackson on a lot of these reads, but they they, they collapsed down, and Lamar Jackson says, All right, I'll, I'll keep it myself. You know, still has such acceleration and quickness, so slippery in his sixth year now. They run him when they have to. You know, yeah. only, only when they have to, especially down in this area. Mitchell. His dad, has, who's in the stadium tonight, had a uh, Anthony huge takeaway in a playoff game back in the early 2000s. You know, you, the father plays and the kid comes in. It's a cool deal. It, it really is. is. Living a dream. Yeah. The father, too. The father's yeah. living a dream. Yeah. Second and seven. Jackson stepping away. And then he just goes down. And Jackson in the 15 yard line lost his footing. Gets up uh, hobbling. Mm -hmm. You go back to that tackle by Logan Wilson. You just wonder if he's out there playing at 100% with that ankle. You know, you, you very rarely see Lamar Jackson just go down. At week 11, do you know any player playing at 100%? <laughs> right. We, how about the left foot get caught in the turf there? Mm. So back to the 15. It's the first third down play on this drive, sort of back of their own 25, third and 12. 
he'll keep. And tackled at the eight yard line. That's Jordan Battle coming up there, and he's limping away on fourth down. They tried to go back to his legs. I like the motion. They use Mitchell and clears out Logan Wilson. You go here, clears this out, and now you got a chance with the numbers. With this is what he brings to the table, but not being at 100 percent. The Bengals deserve some credit there, rallying to the football with a rookie Jordan Battle. Justin Tucker now, 12th year in the league, originally signed as a free agent, and a spectacular career. 25-yard attempt. Per usual, we all get rid of our <laughs> trip to fan hang hangover, right? Oh yeah. I don't know what it's going to be like, you know, in New York. Meanwhile, well, you got well they they play the Bills this week. That's interesting. Meanwhile, you see that left ankle wrap for Jackson on the sideline. Keep an eye on that. Touchback here. Ball coming out to the 25. This defense has been in, obviously at a different. They only allowed 15 points a game yeah. since they made that trade. Best in the league points allowed. You look at that panel. That was a fleecing. <laughs> From the 25 to the outside, caught and a nine yard pickup here. Catch made by Jamar Chase. Darby takes him down, but there's a flag. Illegal formation offense. Number one covered the tight end. Five yard penalty, still first down. So there goes that catch. Still the first down. Communicates he's just that guy that gets everybody right. And I think he's helped Patrick Queen a lot. Little Ray Lewis 2.0. Dancing and darting and unable to escape. Sacked. Ladafe Owe with that sack. Well, he, he locked in that time on Jamar Chase. Then he tried to, he's looking to his right. He comes back and tries to find Irv Smith. By the time, see how he looks right? By the time he tries to find his check down, there's He's in no man's land and Owe just continues to get better and better a little raw as a rookie out of Penn State now in his third year. Look at all these pass rushers. They got a lot of guys that get after the quarterback. Yeah, I think Browning was saying Oy vey. Yeah. second and 22. <laughs> Draw play. Up to the 19. Travion Williams to Kaylee. Guys, as you were talking about the linebacker position in Baltimore will always be revered and Roquan Smith told me he was studying Ray Lewis film long before he became a Raven. First as a kid, he was searching NFL biggest hits on YouTube, but also he was watching Lewis's motivational speeches. So when he walked into the first team meeting here last year, he told the room he knew the standard. He wanted to meet it and exceed it. Yes. Kyle Hamilton told me Smith is now the heart and soul of this team, guys. Yeah, we just saw Ray in the in the shadows. Upstairs third and 17 now under pressure going deep and it's chase can he make the catch along the sideline and at the 45 yard line Jamar chase cannot pull it in now he, he can't uh, bring it down uh, but, but I'll tell you that was close Jake Browning just threw this up in the air and said you're better just go up and get it he keeps it in bounds the ball in bounds the feet are not yep. but gave him a chance. And I Why not? I don't blame him. You're an inexperienced guy, even with a safety coming over there to double him, still throw it up there yeah. to him. Years ago, there was a force out on plays like that. If you get forced out of bounds, but that's a long gun. Robbins to punt. Wobbly kick. Fair catch goal for made 44 yard line by Du to say as he takes over from the 44 yard line. Back is Mitchell. Give it to Keaton Mitchell. With great speed and shifty moves and all the rest to the 35 yard line. And that's what he's been doing, and the crowd loves it. He's become a, a sudden star here. Yeah, and they continue to work that right side without Sam Hubbard, who's such a great run defender. He cuts back. Just getting trying to run the space. You get a guy like this who's got such quickness. The safeties, I think, look at him on film and they really don't understand how quick and sudden he is until they see him in person. And there's his dad 
Wants to see him get more touches, and he's getting them tonight. Yeah, his a Super Bowl ring from that 2000 season. Fake give, pass caught. Turns into a decent game. Zay Flowers, about four yards shy of the first. Back and go to Kaylee. Guys, between drives on the sidelines, Lamar Jackson had a moist heating pad wrapped around that left ankle. That allowed him to rest his legs, but keep that ankle loose and warm. He seems to be moving around better now than he was when he came off the field for the last drive, that's for sure. Yeah, no question about that. It's second down and four again. We're talking about missing so much time in each of the last two seasons and what that's meant to the team. So important, obviously, to keep him healthy. Second and four from the 29-yard line. Has time. Goes deep. And it's incomplete in the end zone. That's Odell Beckham again. Crowd, of course, every time you see something like that, they want a flag. Don't get it. Wujie covering on the play. Yeah, again, they're taking these shots. They want to get the ball to Odell Beckham. Little stutter, little move to the inside. He's really it's just an option route. Any way he can get downfield and, and win on a go ball. Official right there. Good no call. Nice to see one of those tonight. Right, right. Right. Third and four. Final minute of the third. This time only a three man rush. Eight back. Dancing away. By in time. Under pressure. Nearly gets sacked. Has time. Going to the end zone. And is it out of bounds? He bought all that time, and Zay Flowers was able to get there. Meanwhile, you had a Bengalus down. He got chased. They had a three-man rush, but he was out of bounds. It's fourth down. Meanwhile, you got that's uh, Turner, DJ Turner, who's shaken up. Well, let's see. This is going to be one Mississippi, two Mississippi. I mean, he. This is the beauty of when you rush three, and you got Lamar Jackson back there. You really have no chance, even though you can't end. That was DJ Reader. I love how he keeps his eyes downfield. Look at this throw, by the way. You know, almost 11 seconds. Yeah. Good that's, luck. That's, that's tough on DJ Turner, who went down. Maybe he was just exhausted from trying to plaster yeah. that long against a scramble. If Turner gets up. He walks along the sideline. They got Tucker in here for a 47 yard field goal attempt. Of course, everything is in, in range for him, including Annapolis. Easy pickings. 26 seconds remaining in the third. Back. It's such a thing is a perfect night for football. This is it. 53 degrees, clear skies. <laughs> we come on the air. We, it's a great night for whatever it is. 30 right. degrees snowing. Yeah. 68 degrees, but tonight's the perfect night. Yeah, I, I'm shocked. I, when we looked at this one at the beginning of the season, I thought middle of November, it, it's yeah. going to be a little chilly in Baltimore. This is ideal. Trying to convince Mark Tyleman, our producer, that we could come on in tank tops tonight, but to no avail. <laughs> I know one guy that would love that. Oh, I know. <laughs> of course. <laughs> our boy McAfee. And not me. Yeah, there you yeah, go. I'm, I'm with you. In this division, you could see three teams getting into the playoffs. Pretty amazing that Pittsburgh keeps finding ways to, to win games. Tremendous. We'll see them in a couple of weeks against New England and Pittsburgh on a Thursday night. Meanwhile, first down here. And Mixon stopped near the line of scrimmage. As the seconds wind down in the third. That's yeah, it. What we've not seen from these linebackers and again, I don't think they feel threatened right now by by Browning. They're blitzing him a lot and now those backers are really getting downhill in a hurry against that run game. 